What do you think about this particular editorial cartoon? It's very sad. Mm -hmm. Very sad. Mm. Taikagwe. What is that? The cartoon. The editorial cartoon? Maybe just put it up on the screen, on the screen so that our, well, our panelists can see it, please. Well, it's you know, sad. there is no room for extrajudicial killings in this country. Every individual has a right to be taken to a court of law and to be tried and to be uh, punished in accordance with the law, mm -hmm. not extrajudicial. Not extrajudicial. Right. Jacob, do you? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I don't think we need to condone unlawful killings. But I think many a times uh, this society is evading the, the, the debate about how it should be. Because criminals get arrested every day. You talk to an ordinary police officer, they will tell you they take these people to court, they are back on the streets. We need to confront as a country, look at where the problem is. I, I think this is part of the problem. But I think the problem lies in uh, a prosecution, the problem lies in a uh, sentencing, uh, I mean the trials, uh, and, and, and I think we, we, we need to take this debate beyond just blaming the police. And, and I think our police, uh, I just want to say one more thing, mm -hmm. our police are a frustrated lot. Y you know, I have said before that what this country took the police through during post-election violence, it cannot be that there has not been a single counseling mm -hmm. done to our police. Our police think blood is okay. What, the, what some of these policemen, if you listen to their <coughs> stories, it is the duty of the state to say, okay, it is our dark past, but how do we reform Thank you. our, 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 our police force? Thank our you. Police Let's hear from uh, Umatangi, yeah, very my, briefly. My, yes, my, my view is that um, indeed uh, that we should, we should at all costs uh, you know, advocate uh, Say loudly that uh, there is no place for for happy uh, killing, but but I want to, for the first time in a long time, agree with Jacoy that, uh, <laughs> that 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 really we we also must look at at, at at the plight of the police themselves. I think you know, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, I got a call at about uh, 8 p.m. in my house. And I was just told, can you be able to come home? And when I was being told to come home, some guys had, a guy, some guys had driven into a lady's home in my place, uh, here in, in, in Kembu. Found a woman, her son, a visitor, all sitting at 8 p.m. Came in, gunned the three of them down. What? And drove away. Just yesterday? The yeah, day before yesterday. The day before yesterday? Yes, in the evening, 8 p.m. And it happens all the time. You remember the other day, we, we, we had uh, some stories of, again, uh, some battles with police, you know, on Krika Road, you know, somewhere near Ruaka, uh, all of, even here in Nairobi. We also must look at, 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 at how, do, how do we also help the police to fight criminals, yes. really? Because, because, you know, criminals, <laughs> when they get hardened, hardened, and one thing I've come to also conclude to myself, after looking at the trend, most of the criminals are not just ordinary criminals. Mm. They are sharpshooters. They know how to fight with guns. And so when a policeman is faced by, by, by a criminal with a gun, he is actually facing another marksman who at, at, at any time will bring him down. So, so I think also we have to be fair to our police and say there has to be some latitude. We have to allow some space where a police officer can be able either to protect themselves, they can be able to take action, but, but, but when it comes to the trigger happy business of just looking at somebody and pointing a gun at firing, then we must also say the law must be obeyed, including by the police. But let's, let's not just be, be happy all the time to, to, to condemn the police and condemn the police at any time. Right. Yeah. But the, the children who are shot in his sleep are here between ages of 14 and 16 and 18 were shot because they had been stealing from traders, picking money that is not theirs from traders. If that is the standard, then why hasn't the IG, using his best firing squad, killed Waiguru, killed Murukomen, 
Kweli kabura because this was they also robbed money that was not theirs in fact in billions of shillings this is a question of applying a different standard when you are dealing with the poor no. let me give you wamatangi this is not a laughing matter no, you know i'm wondering whether let, that let is, the, you, is is that, the, is, that, is, that, is, that is that the standard of interpretation of a bullfighter exactly exactly <laughs> i'm i'm speaking for the poor and the the, 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 the government speaks for the rich no, let no, me give you a no, case no, in the uh, Sijirai area it's about, of Kakamega. It's about following law. Mm. Let me tell you why it is wrong to, to kill on the spot like that. In Kakamega, two months ago at Sijirai, there was a boy who was a notorious criminal. And the police were tracking him. So, when they thought they had got him, they gunned him down. And who did they gun down? His younger brother, on a border border. So had they arrested this border border boy, they would have confirmed that he is not the criminal, the elder brother is. That is the danger. You must give the due process an opportunity. No, I, well, that, that, that's Thank agreeable. You. And, you know, you know, but, 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 but for uh, the law, uh, that's that, that, <laughs> Because this is a grave matter. Yes. Nobody Boni is uh, advocating for extrajudicial killings. Yes, yes. we, we are saying it's, it's wrong, whether it's, it's wrong. done by police, whether it's done by criminal gangs. Uh, you know, only God should take life. But what we are saying is that this is a broad debate. I think this system has collapsed. Mm. Has collapsed. Uh, and it is good to hear <laughs> the version of the police. You, you know, you will say whether a thief is a thief, whether they are Waiguru or whether they are those people stealing from innocent, because they are also stealing from the poor. They do not uh, 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 try to... Uh, kind of like insinuate that the dead are the only poor ones. Even the people they are taking, the mamamboga they are stealing from, or the shopkeeper is also poor. Mm. So we need to reorganize our society. That is why Jubilee really must just go home. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You know, yeah, you got yeah, it right. You know, you know, you know, Deba. We have we have just been discussing right here <laughs> that violence belongs to ODM. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are now talking about the going home I'll, I'll, because of an errand because of an errand <laughs> policeman. Yeah. Now, what is the logic here? I mean, what, the state. <laughs> what follows what? Who is the head of but, state? Because, but, but you must realize, Mutahi, uh, well, that, that before that before <laughs> Jakoyo utters those words, his morning has not started. And then the cause he must find uh, his expression. You know, I mean, it's like breakfast for him. Uh, you to say you believe must go, then, then now he can start breathing. <laughs> in light, in light of this, I think, I think the abiding question that remains <laughs> is, what has happened to the new Bakumi initiative? Uh, is it working? Do we hear from uh, John Kagudi as well, as far as that initiative is, well, is unfolding? Well, really, Dibali, if you ask me from, uh, especially in the rural areas, it's, it's really working. I know, I know like it's in working. places like in Sika, in uh, parts of uh, Gatondo South, I've, I've observed in parts of Lari. Gatondo. It's, it's really in my, I'm talking about my county, and yes. I know it works well. Mm -hmm. It works very, very well. But, but you, see, you see, the element of this, especially the juvenile criminals, uh, th th that is where the distinction has got to be. How do the police deal with them? Especially if they are not armed. But, but if they are armed, mm. th then, then that is another different story altogether. That's a different story altogether. You're, de you're dealing with somebody who can, in the split of mm. a second, also uh, end your life, whether you're in uniform or not. Thank you. Yeah. I think it would be very unfair. It would be very unfair to expect a policeman to be faced with some gangster who is armed. Yes. And the policeman simply says, I'm going to arrest you. No, you can't. That, 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 that can't happen. And, and you know, that spreads not just to criminals, and that's why even the issues of terrorists no. now come in. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot expect a policeman, you know, to simply stand by and try and arrest somebody whose intention is to, to either kill him or kill others. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 there has to be uh, understanding about why some of these things happen. But having said that, all we are saying is that there should be due process, at least in the case where a young man is not armed. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. Like yeah. in his sleep. Right. I think